I found the weirdest character from every single Star Wars movie, and in this video, I'm going to go over all of them in chronological order. And that's why the first character on this list from Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, is Boss Nass. Boss Nass has this incredible ability to be really annoying in everything that he does, to the point where when he's talking, I actually can't wait for him to shut the frick up. The movie also makes it so that him spinning everywhere is the biggest joke in the world, when in reality, it's just nasty. But what really makes him weird is that somehow he's a Gungan. I mean, the typical Gungan is skinny and flat. And then you got Boss Nass, who's just slow and fat. Plus, what kind of name is Boss Nass? Is his first name Boss? Or is that his title? In which case, is his real name just Nass? And if his real name is just Nass, then does that mean... <laughs> Actually, you know what? When I think about it, I don't really want to go down that route. I don't, but it is interesting to think about. Anyway, he's definitely not the weirdest character in this video, and believe me, there are some way weirder ones coming up, but he's definitely one of the stranger characters in The Phantom Menace. Up next, begun the Clone Wars have. Oh, that was an awful Yoda impression. As we jump into episode two, Attack of the Clones. Now, for some reason, this episode has a ton of weird characters to choose from, and it must have been the movie where George Lucas just went all out. I mean, really let loose. Out of all the movies in Star Wars, this one was the hardest to choose a single their weirdest character for. It came down to Dexter Jetster and Poggle the Lesser, and in the end, I just couldn't pick between them. So they're gonna tie as the weirdest character. Now look, I freaking love Dexter, and it is kind of funny to me that his two-minute scene had more impact on Star Wars than Captain Phasma did in two entire movies. But that's that's besides the point, and the biggest reason that Dexter is weird is mainly because of how goofy-looking his proportions are. I mean, he's shorter than Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's still got four arms jammed in there. It's also funny, because his CGI makes him look like a character in a video game, rather than an actual realistic character, which in my opinion only adds to his charm, but I mean, come on, you gotta admit, it is a tad weird. However, when it comes to Poggle the Lesser, he's just straight up horrific. Call me xenophobic or alienphobic or whatever the term is, if you must, but I'm just gonna say it right here right now. The Geonosians as a whole are a funky looking species, man, and good old Poggle is the funkiest of the bunch. Not only is he weirder looking than the average Geonosian, he also makes those creepy clicking noises that I'm not even gonna try to imitate. Just listen to the man himself do it. <laughs> Ugh, you know what? Based entirely off of that, I take it back. Between the two of them, Poggle is definitely weirder than Dexter. And I'm right here, right now, officially putting him as the weirdest character in episode 2. Let me know in the comments if you agree, and now we're moving on to Revenge of the Sith. You know, surprisingly enough, there weren't that many weird characters in Episode 3, but there is one that really comes to mind, and that's General Grievous. Now look, I love this guy, and not only is he super cool, but he also made the Clone Wars like three times better than it would have been without him. However, no matter how you slice it, Grievous is kind of an all-around weird character. I mean, he's mostly robot, he can break his arms apart into four, and he coughs like he's been struck down with a combination of malaria and yellow fever. Oh, and don't forget that he's short. General Grievous. You're shorter than I expected. <laughs> what a loser. Anyway, no lengthy explanation needed there. That kind of sums it up. And now we're moving on to the originals. But before we get there, we gotta make two quick stops at Solo and Rogue One. And because we are going in chronological order, let's start with Rogue One. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everyone knows it's Solo, a Star Wars story. And the obvious choice was no one other than Lady Proxima. Now, if you don't remember her, it's probably because she was only in a few scenes at the beginning of the movie. But if you recall, she was the huge worm thing that lived in the underground lake and enslaved all those kids on Corellia. Aside from, you know, enslaving kids, which is honestly kind of cringe in the first place, not gonna lie. She also just looks freaking weird. I mean, how did a worm like her, who can't be exposed to sunlight, convince people to work for her in the first place? It frankly doesn't make a ton of sense to me. But you know what, whatever, on to Rogue One, and this one will make way more sense if you've actually watched the Clone Wars, because the weirdest character in Rogue One is Saw Gerrera. If you think back to the Clone Wars, then you'll recall that Saw Gerrera was a young, quick-witted, athletic, spry young man, and you would have guessed that he was in prime physical condition. Fast forward about 20 years, and this guy's closer to being the Terminator than a human being. He has two robotic legs, a suit of armor that would make Lancelot himself self-conscious, and a breathing apparatus that, for some reason, reminds me of my high school bathrooms. Although I can't really figure out why. Hmm. It's just really creepy to see how far Saw Gerrera has fallen physically, and he's by far the weirdest character in the entire Rogue One movie. I was also considering putting that blind guy up here, because I mean, he looks normal, but man, when he starts talking, you don't know what's gonna come out of his mouth. A good half the time, he just starts muttering, I'm one with the Force and the force with me, I'm one with the force and the force with me, which makes him seem more loony than Daffy Duck, but still, I think Saw Gerrera is a tad weirder. Anyway, on to the big stuff, and coming in at the number 6 spot on this list is episode 4, A New Hope. But actually, that reminds me, hello there everybody, my name is Jedward, and I make tons of videos about Star Wars and other franchises like it, and if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that subscribe button. Thank you, it would mean the world to me. And now, on to A New Hope. This was a really tough one. There aren't actually that many weird characters in this episode 
episode, and most of them are just average human beings. So because of that, I'm forced to go with Garadan. If you don't know Garadan from the movies, <laughs> hey, nobody's blaming you, then you'll most likely recognize him from the Lego Star Wars, the complete saga level, where you had to chase him down in most Eisley. That's mainly because he was only in the movie for about 30 seconds, and he did jack squat in that time. But he does look so freaking weird, and this mask thing he's wearing is not making him any drippier. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a lame character to put for a new hope, but for the life of me, I cannot think of anyone else. And you better believe that I am not putting George Lucas's CGI Jabba the Hutt at episode 4. It is not happening. Again, another short entry, but now we're moving on to Empire Strikes Back, episode 5. Similar to episode 4, there weren't that many weird characters in Empire, so I'm gonna have to go with Yoda. And now, you may be thinking to yourself, Jedward, you blustering buffoon, you had the entire prequels to do Yoda. Why did you wait until episode 5? I'm so glad you asked, my dear viewer. The answer is that Yoda was absolutely unhinged in this episode of Star Wars. His first appearance is him literally stealing food from Luke and getting into an epic duel with R2-D2. And to top it all off, he just plops down on Luke's back while Luke does crazy acrobatics. I mean, he's a straight up menace. And he's for sure very weird. I mean, no questions asked. I kind of wish I didn't have to put him here, but at the same time, if you just take Yoda as a character and remove your own personal bias, he is a straight up freak. I mean, he looks like a frog, no one knows what species he is, and he can start hopping like a one-legged kangaroo when he gets into a fight. Frick, man, I wish I could do that. Anyway, on to episode 6, Return of the Jedi. I mean, there are a few characters that could take the prize here, but by far the most obvious and the weirdest is the infamous Jabba the Hutt. What can I even say? He's a human among a slug who eats weird worm things and runs the biggest smuggling operation in the galaxy. He's also just straight up disgusting. I mean, he drools like an infant and he always has that nasty slime and goo on his face. I will give him this though. His laugh is iconic. I can't even count the amount of times that I've tried to imitate it. <laughs> But unfortunately, I'm not laughing anymore, and the reason for that is because we are now leaving the original trilogy and heading on over to the Star Wars sequels. Bum bum bum. That's right, it's time to go over to The Force Awakens. And the weirdest character in The Force Awakens is Maz Kanata. She looks like a wrinkled orange raisin, and those goggles are something else, man. Also, how the frick does she just casually have Luke's lightsaber sitting around? I mean, Ma said she'd explain it, but she never actually did. Oh, and what about that offhand comment about Chewbacca being her boyfriend? I mean, call me crazy, but I got a gut feeling that these two species wouldn't mix that well together. Where's my boyfriend? Chewie's working on the Falcon. I like that Wookiee. All in all, Maz is definitely the weirdest character in The Force Awakens, although she was kind of fun. Anyway, now we're moving on to Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Oh, Ryan, bless your heart. Thanks to your, uh, creative, innovative storytelling, there are a ton of weird characters in Episode 8. But the absolute weirdest is gonna have to go to Supreme Leader Snoke. To start, Snoke is just a weird-looking guy in the first place. I mean, his face looks creepier than Mad-Eye Moody's, and for a guy who seemed so big and scary in The Force Awakens, he was surprisingly small. And just for a little icing on top, he was so arrogant and flippant which was the main reason that he ended up getting gutted by a lightsaber that was two feet away from him. What a dork. Regardless, finally moving on to the last movie in the Star Wars sequels, let's find the weirdest character in The Rise of Skywalker. There were a few characters that I could have chosen for this role, but I ended up going with that stupid looking hairdryer droid. What was his name? D.O. I think. That was it. I don't know, something about the way that he moved and talked just pissed me off. One thing I will say to his credit though, is that at least he was not in that many scenes of The Rise of Skywalker, because to be honest, I did not enjoy his presence in the ones that he was in. Like, for example, I'm just so glad he wasn't in the opening scene, and speaking of opening scenes, if you want to know what the best opening scene in Star Wars is, you need to watch this video right here, where I ranked every opening scene in Star Wars from absolute worst to absolute best. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed.